and welcome to the W Hotel in Taipei, Taiwan, one of the Marriott Bonvoy properties. This is one of the most luxurious and one of the most expensive hotels in Taiwan, and in my opinion, the best hotel in the whole city. We are here for New Year's. We're staying for four nights. I can't wait to show you this hotel. It's one of the coolest W hotels and one of my favorite hotels in the whole world. Let's go. Welcome to the fantastic suite here at the W Hotel in Taipei, Taiwan. In my opinion, right now, the best hotel in the whole city. This was a Suite Night Award I used to get the fantastic suite here. It's the highest level upgrade you can get using your Suite Night Awards with Marriott. But this is going to be one of the coolest rooms in the whole world I've ever reviewed. But we have our huge arrival entrance with this cool light tunnel thing. We have a whole mini bar area over here with all kinds of uh, Nespresso machine, snacks for purchase, the really cool hanging drinks glasses and then down below here we have the mini fridge but just look at this design how cool this is it's just so beautiful w style with the bright colors now here we are the fantastic suite suite this room is 70 square meters and it is enormous this is just the living room next we're gonna have the bathroom and bedroom but look at this view taipei 101 this is one of my favorite buildings in the world in my opinion this one and the uh, Ritz Carlton in Singapore with the Marina Bay Sands view are both just incredible. We were here last night for New Year's Eve, not in this room, but we were on the street watching the whole tower put off all the fireworks for New Year's. And this is just one of the coolest buildings in the world. It was the tallest building in the world till I believe 2009. And it is just such a marvel to be seeing this from our room. Absolutely incredible. But we have a huge L-shaped -sh couch in here. This really cool, unique lighting, this really cool table in the middle, carpet and wood floor. And then we have a huge work desk here where you can be sitting down and having the best views of uh, Taipei 101 while you're in the room. First TV over here and then we just have some shelving units there with some cool different items on display and another seat here. One of the things I love about this hotel is there's just so much going on when it comes to like the walls and the furniture. It's not like basic luxury like a lot of properties are going to. It's just just the right amount. We've got the beautiful walls here that are not flat wallpaper but we have a beautiful the black paneling and in the normal rooms it's the white paneling with this beautiful design we have the l couch here with the table it goes from the carpeting to the hardwood floor i love this light sticking out there's just a lot going on it feels luxurious it's just very very nice even as you kind of wrap around here we've got the different tones we've got this other wood we've got this other color back tone gray here going to the ceiling it's just so sophisticated so beautiful in the normal rooms they have like the cube design on the sides it's just really special and when you're sitting in bed and you're just looking around you're just in awe of the design the room and i really hope that they keep a lot of this during the renovation i hope they just like maybe replace the carpet some of the furniture but i hope they keep a lot of the other aspects because it really is one of the best designed hotels i've ever stayed at in my life now let's head on over into the bathroom and main living area which is separated here by the sliding door and the reason for this is because uh it lets someone in there who's showering have privacy because the bedroom and shower and tub are kind of all together so you can close it off and someone can be in there well if someone wants privacy in this room but now coming in look at this incredible bed Tremendous. Uh, we got the green carpet here with the wood floor. Now this property is 10 years old. They're actually this year coming in 2024, they're actually renovating the whole building. So in my opinion though, in the whole world, I give this hotel the award for still having the nicest rooms that are 10 years old. It's probably still gonna get a perfect score for me. Even though it's 10 years old, everything is just still so clean, new, beautiful. Even the basic rooms, we were just in the standard room with the two double beds. Uh, you can fast forward and watch uh, kind of the room tour for that room. But even that room is just insane with inspiration. But this room is awesome because we have the panoramic windows from floor to ceiling with a view of over here and the view of Taipei 101. But the bed, um, I do hope with the renovation, they do something really cool above the beds here. That would just be awesome. In the standard rooms, they have that really cool like white paneling, which I really love. Um, but definitely unique design here. Very fluffy pillows, it looks like. But basically when you're in bed, you're looking out here at the beautiful Taipei 101 from this incredible over the tub here. This is probably one of the top 
tubs in the world I've ever seen with one of the best views. You can be in the tub looking out at the best view. Even the suite at the Marina Bay, at the Ritz-Carlton Singapore didn't have a Marina Bay Sands view in the suites. Some of the standard rooms do, but the suites do not. So here's an example of a suite with an incredible view. You're definitely gonna wanna take a bath here in this tub, one of the best in the world. Now coming into the bathroom, we do have this sliding door here, which I don't even know why they put this sliding door on here because there's no sliding door here. And right here, there's literally see-through paneling anyway, even if the door is closed, where you can see right into the bathroom. So this is just kind of interesting, but with the renovation, I'm not sure what the new design is gonna look like, but it's still a fantastic bathroom. Now we have the shower here with the green, the standard rooms have the orange, so the different room types have different colors, but it's just so unique. And I love the floor to ceiling marble. We have the tiling down below the different colors with the rainfall shower, one of the most powerful water pressures with the rainfall shower, incredible. Huge mirror here, but while you're getting ready, the mirror isn't the whole thing, it's just part of it. So you can be looking around here at Taipei 101 while you're getting ready, a little seat, and all kinds of little amenities here with the hair dryer. These rooms are so efficient and so practical, even the standard room. There's plenty of space to get ready. There's plenty of like room, even in the standard rooms, to like move around. They just feel so comfortable and they just really did a good job with the spacing. Now let's go ahead and back up here because we have the toilet and closet space I wanna go over. We've got the two closet areas over here and we also have the robes and slippers which are in every room, which is a must. Now here's the robes. These are in every room, even the standard rooms. Now they are pretty thin. I don't necessarily approve of these robes. They definitely could be thicker and they definitely could have more padding. They're just kind of very, um, very thin robes, but all the rooms have them, which is a plus. And then the slippers, all the rooms also do have the slippers um, included with the rooms. But I will be honest, we didn't really love the slippers. They're a little rough. They do have a little bit of padding, but they're just not, they're just not that soft feeling. They're like almost kind of like sandpaper. They're just really rough. They're not super soft. So they definitely can improve the robes and the slippers. And I hope they do with the full renovation. We also have the safe down below there. And then in this side, we have an ironing board and iron and then just some more storage areas. And then the toilet is completely separate, which I love about this hotel. All the toilets have their own huge closing door, even in the standard room. It's very private, very nice. One of those fancy toilets. And then you have in the suites here, you have your own little sink to get ready with uh, your own little soap in here. So that's a very great feature. All right, the other important thing I wanna go over is there is a TV here in front of the bed, but every room, even the most basic room here has a full Bose system included in the room. You can hook up via Bluetooth to your phone. I have never seen this at any hotel I've ever stayed in my life. It is the most premium sound quality and it gets so loud. Even in our standard room with the two beds we had last night, just we connected to the Bose speaker and we were playing music and it was just, and it had a subwoofer and the two speakers, just incredible. So the rooms here have them. I really hope they keep that with the renovation, um, but absolutely an incredible feature that not every hotel has. Overall, this W Hotel is incredible. It was designed under the Starwood when it was under the W Hotels with Starwood. Later on, it merged with Marriott. So this is one of the original W Hotel designs, but one of my favorite. They didn't skimp. It feels luxurious. A lot of the new W Hotels now, for example, like the one in Nashville feels very cheap. It just feels like a basic Fairfield almost when it comes to the rooms. This room is actually premium. It's quality. It's just gorgeous everywhere you look. I mean, I think it could go a few more years before it definitely needs a renovation. I hope they don't change too much because I'm really, really loving it. We were here during one of the busiest times. This hotel is 400 rooms or so, which is a monster for W Hotel, yet it still is so nice. It has incredible service. There's always someone to greet you going in and out, which is what I look for. Every staff member has been so friendly. I am just in love with this hotel, one of the best in the whole world. I definitely can't wait to come back after the renovation, and I hope the rooms are just as quality and just as amazing uh, when I return. But this is the fantastic suite. I'll also be in the next few minutes going over the standard room, which is also just insane. But if you're coming to Taipei, Taiwan, the W Hotel is where to stay until the new Park Hyatt and Andes opens, which is in that really tall building that they're building right there next to Taipei 101. Those ones could give the W here a run for their money. A brand new Park Hyatt and Andes, both with Hyatt, not Marriott, but I definitely will want to review those when they open. Now let's go check out the rest of the property here. 
Welcome to this stunning W Taipei, Taiwan. I first stayed here going into New Year's of 2020, back before I had really stayed at hardly any luxury hotels, and this one truly blew my mind. So it was amazing to be able to revisit this incredible property. It reminded me just how special it really was. And yes, it's one of my favorite properties still in the whole world. I would go back in a second. Now, this is the amazing arrival area. It's amazingly beautiful during the day and the night. Now, when you first walk in, this is not the main lobby. It's just kind of like a arrival area. But you can either walk in that way and park valet or you can go to the parking garage that is underneath now right out front of the building you're looking across the way at just shopping malls it's a great location it's actually located in the Xinyi district which is a very popular area it's business and shopping hub of Taipei now the hotel is also just steps away from some of the best restaurants night markets and shopping malls in the city it's an absolute great location and many of the rooms and settings in the hotel offer amazing views of Taipei 101 which is the tallest building in the city and it's just stunning beautiful now you take the elevator up and now this is the main area here where you check in they have the check-in desks right across the way there but just look at the architecture look at the design it is stunning so we had amazing check-in experience and then right next to the check-in area is the woo bar area I'll just show you a quick sneak peek because I'll show you more later in the video but it's a really modern setting at nighttime it really comes alive they have a live DJ you can get drinks light bites it's kind of looking out into the pool area as well but it's just absolutely gorgeous. From the kind of lobby and woo bar area, we then will take the really cool elevators up to the guest room floors. Even the elevators are just such uniquely designed. I hate when luxury hotels, the elevators, it's like they ran out of money. They're just boring or just plain walls in there. But this no element is boring. The walls, the lighting, look at even next to every single door, the cool paneling. But now this was our fantastic suite. We were able to have it for several nights with our suite night awards being approved for this property before they turned it to nightly upgrade awards. But this was stunning because when we had stayed here before, we just had a standard room as well as our first night here. But there was nothing else like this, especially the bathtub view. I'd say definitely one of the top three bathtub views in the world. But I just love the design of this room. Every single element is just gorgeously beautiful. The lighting, the bed was so comfortable, the floor to ceiling windows, automatic curtains, everything I look for was there. Now I also want to show you a standard room because I would be totally happy also just with a standard room which we've had many times because look at the design. Now, since recording this video, they have renovated the property. They have actually kept most of the design. It's just some of the furniture is a little bit different, but even before the renovation, it's still just beautifully flawless. I love the colors. The bathroom was so comfortable. You just want to relax. They have the robes, the slippers in all the room. They have the chairs to sit on to make yourself comfortable. For standard rooms, this is what I'm talking about. No flat walls, all different textures, so many things going on. This is a true luxury hotel and something that I will go back to time after time. The design of not only the hotel rooms, but also all the public areas and lobby blends modern luxury with Taiwanese culture. You notice many different design elements, like sometimes native stone and wood, as well as colorful abstract artwork throughout the whole hotel. Everything about this place is just a masterpiece. The views are incredible. Now this is looking out kind of the other side, not towards Taipei 101, but you're still just towering over the city and it's still just a spectacular view. We also were so impressed they have full Bose speaker system in the room with a subwoofer, which uh, you've never heard music like it. Now here's the Yen Chinese restaurant. We did not go here for like dinner when they actually have that restaurant open, but this is where they actually currently host the breakfast buffet. And it was fantastic. Fantastic. We, we got four mornings of breakfast and it never got old. They switched up the options a little bit every day and then they also open up the yen bar during busy times for breakfast. Now the yen bar is a special place because in the evening this turns into a full bar and it's just a gorgeous setting. I love the furniture but in the morning when there's a lot of people staying at the hotel they open it up for breakfast and look at this breakfast view. Yes that's where we ate one morning for breakfast in the beautiful yen bar. They don't design hotels like this hardly anywhere. Look at the purple, the colors. It's just so special. Staying here is more than just a stay. It's a whole experience that changes you forever. 
Now the Yen restaurant and Yen bar are right here on the same floor, they're connected. So there's the host stand to the left is like the restaurant and then to the right here is the Yen bar. Now the other really cool thing about this Yen bar is that they have for breakfast a whole smoothie station set up where you can pick whatever kind of fruit that you want to go into your smoothie and they make it for you fresh right here at the Yen bar. It was an incredible experience. They will make you any kind of smoothie. I don't think I've really had it to this level at any other property. But then drinking your smoothie with this view, I will never forget it and I really hope to go back soon. But they have so many buffet options. I just wanna show you as many as I can. They have little juices and they have a fresh noodle bar. They'll make you any kind of egg that you want. You can also order unlimited cappuccinos, lattes, straight to your table. And then they have all the buffet options just from Western style dishes to Asian style dishes to just tons and tons of pastries. It just goes on and on and on. Now this property actually boasts 405 rooms, which means sometimes the breakfast buffet can get pretty crowded. And during New Year's, yes, some of the days it was pretty crowded. However, if you go early enough in the morning, there's hardly no one there. Everyone tends to wait till the kind of the end of the buffet. It goes till about 1030, but there can be a queue. So you do have to sometimes wait to be seated, but they're very efficient. They go really quick. And overall, normally I don't like luxury hotels to be this many rooms. However, the W Taipei does a very good job of still making your whole stay feel luxurious. Now past the buffet, this is kind of the other room. So we were seated kind of in the Yen Bar the one day with that beautiful view of Taipei 101. And then for some of the other mornings we were seated in here. But I honestly can't complain because I love them both. Even in here you had other little stations that you could walk around and get different pastries, different types of food. But even the cool little circle booths in here, the lighting, the views, it's just a completely unique experience depending on where you're sitting. And it was all beautiful. Now this is the Seasons restaurant. This is located in the lobby, kind of past the lobby elevators, and it is their other main restaurant. It's led by Michelin star chef Oliver E, known for his innovative French cuisine. This restaurant features French dishes and is another excellent spot to choose during your stay. Now here we are at the Way Spa and Fitness Center. If we turn right, we'll access the spa and pool area. If we turn left, we're gonna enter the fitness center. Now this might just take the cake for the best fitness center in the world because of how modern it is. I love the colors. I love the lighting. It has state-of-the-art fitness equipment. It has plenty of space for everyone. It has great service because of the reception area. But it truly is one of the coolest fitness centers out there. It's massive. It has every piece of equipment you could ever want. The large windows let in plenty of natural light and the views of the Taipei skyline make working out feel like an elevated experience. Now heading back over, we're gonna take a quick look at the spa reception area. I was not able to see the treatment rooms, but this is kind of the entrance to the spa. And now when we kind of head back around, we're gonna go ahead and head to the pool area. Now, as we're walking by towards the pool area, it's at the end of this hallway, there's actually an elevator that takes you to the pool area because it's kind of outside. But we wanna take a quick look at the locker rooms because this is included for all guests here's the men's locker room it's really modern I love the colors I love the design just look at all the little details they also had a steam room sauna hot tub and dipping tub and cold plunge pool so that is just fantastic I love it when hotels have that included for guests now this was taking the elevator down because the pool is located on the 10th floor on the rooftop, which is the same floor as the lobby and the Woo Bar, which you can, you know, remember, look out from the Woo Bar at the pool. But it's really cool because I've never had that before where you take an elevator to get to the pool, but you have this really cool kind of walkway. You pass by the showers if you need to shower off, and then you continue on and it opens right up at the pool area. This way you don't have to walk like in your pool clothes through the lobby, through the Woo Bar to get there. It has its own entrance from that other spa level. Now the pool is really fantastic because because a lot of city hotels don't have pools and a lot of them are indoor but this one is outdoor and it's very large so and it's beautiful because all of the chairs have these thick cushions now there's no hot tub outside here but at least they do have the hot tub in the men's locker room and women's of course but the night views as well from the pool are just out of this world amazing 
Now back inside, here is the woo bar at night because this is when it really comes to life. It's so uniquely designed with all the cool lighting. A lot of times they have a live DJ, but this is where the action is at. It's one of the hottest spots in the city for both guests and locals. It's known for its vibrant atmosphere and the bar, which is a social hub that transforms from a casual daytime lounge to a bustling nightlife venue after dark. The woo bar is a relaxed setting where you can enjoy light bites, coffee, or even a refreshing afternoon afternoon cocktail. Now we did get to explore the area at night. This is the W Hotel at night. It's beautiful. Of course we were there for New Year's which is the best time I think of the whole year to be there because Taipei 101, this architectural marvel of a skyscraper, puts off one of the coolest shows in the world. Way better than anything we have in the US but people come from all over Taipei, all over the world to see this incredible show. It's definitely right up there with the New Year's show at Dubai with the Burj Khalifa. That is just, those are, I think, the two best New Year's shows in the whole world. Now, in the area, of course, this is the most popular area right downtown Taipei. You have all of the shopping areas, nightlife. This was, you know, just after Christmas, so they still had a lot of the Christmas festive decorations up, but it's just beautiful. It's so modern, so clean. The lighting, the buildings, you just can walk around, enjoy the nightlife, enjoy the day life. Just gorgeous. Now across the street from the hotel is one of the other shopping malls. We did have a nice lunch there at one of the nice restaurants. And now in Taipei 101, the tall skyscraper building, they have their own mall as well. It's a lot of high-end stores, but it's really coolly designed. I highly recommend coming to this mall and going all the way to the top of Taipei 101. It has some of the best views of the city. Back at our room here, the city skyline is absolutely incredible and you cannot beat taking a nice bath with this view at night. All right, now for the review of the W Taipei Taiwan, I'm gonna start with the rooms. Rooms five out of five, from the standard room to the suites, they are just phenomenal. I love the walls, I love the colors, I love how efficient they are and how you can use all the buttons for the lighting. It's very simple, complete blackout shades. Bose speakers, it's so clean, so comfortable. They're actually also remodeling it, so I'm excited to come back when it's renovated. But even before this renovation, it's still just incredible, which is usually rare for hotels to still feel five out of five for room when they're 10 years old. Next up, inspiration, five out of five. From the rooms to even the breakfast area, the restaurants, the pool, the woo bar, everything is just really inspiring. The building, the lights on the building, everything here just screams wow. The suites, the views, phenomenal. Next up is gonna be service, five out of five. From the moment we arrived, we've come in five or six times in different taxis. They have opened our doors every time. They even help walk you to the elevator during breakfast. As soon as you're done with a plate, they're already clearing it. They're always, uh, as soon as you order a cappuccino, they're bringing it right away. The service here is phenomenal. Check in, the agents are very friendly. They actually accommodate you, the concierge as well. They follow up with the requests. Every item we've ordered for the room amenities, it is there really quick. Amazing, amazing service. Finally, value what I return, definitely five out of five, making this a perfect score. I can't wait to come back again. This is my second time staying here. The first time was uh, going into 2020 before I did these reviews, and now I'm back exactly four years later. And I hope to also come back next year after the renovations, and then of course in the future as well, when that building there is the Park High in Andes, when that opens, that one will also just be incredible. But if you're looking to stay here for pricing, um, it's gonna be one of the most expensive hotels in the city. I believe it's around uh, $350 to $400 per night. And then for points redemptions, it's gonna be about, I'd say anywhere from like 45,000 to like 75,000 points per night, somewhere in that range. For New Year's, uh, we paid 63,000 points a night. And that's because I booked it about like 45 weeks in advance. So 63,000, 63,000 points. So not too bad for points redemption because the rooms were going for like over $1,000, which is over a penny a point, which is a great deal. Um, but otherwise, uh, definitely if you're coming to Taipei, this is the only hotel to stay at. Incredible views, incredible rooms, incredible service. You cannot go wrong.